Hey, what's up, Fight Family? This is Contemplate Boxing. So I want to talk a little bit about the WBC's recent approval of Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso's request to move up to cruiserweight to fight WBC cruiserweight champion Alunga Makabu. This particular decision, first the approval as well as the decision uh, from Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso to skip light heavyweight and jump up to cruiserweight to face the WBC champion Alunga Makabu does come as a surprise, both to me and I believe to most fans, actually. After becoming uh, the first undisputed champion in history, uh, many of us did actually expect Canelo Alvarez to face either David Benavidez or even Jamal Charlo, if Jamal Charlo did make the decision to move up to super, super middleweight for that particular fight. Uh, myself, I even expected more for Canelo Alvarez to probably move up to 175 to face one of the champions there. However, I did not anticipate that Canelo Alvarez would skip 175, where he has competed at once whenever he fought Sergey Kovalev for the title that he held at the time. I uh, wasn't expecting him to skip 175 and jump straight to cruiserweight to fight the WBC champion, Ilanga Makabu. And I have a few thoughts on this. Now, I know when I was speaking to some of my friends and family in regards to this particular bout, somebody had asked, well, why would Canelo move up to cruiserweight for this fight? Why even do this fight? And I think there's a few reasons as to why he would actually do this. Uh, if we're looking from a historical perspective, Canelo Alvarez, he has mentioned on a number of occasions that he wants to make history. He wants to continue to make history. And he did recently make history. First ever super middleweight champion in the history of the division. Uh, first ever undisputed champion from Mexico. Now, to my knowledge, and fans correct me if I'm wrong, in the cruiserweight division's history, there has not yet been a Mexican champion. So Canelo Alvarez moving up to cruiserweight and defeating Alunga Makabu, he, pro he would be the first cruiserweight champion from Mexico. Again, I don't believe there's been a cruiserweight champion from Mexico, but I could be wrong on that. So fight family, correct me on that if I am incorrect. Not only that, but such a win would make Canelo a five division champion. Uh, even in an era where many of your superstars in the sport <clears throat> do jump weight divisions and capture world titles in different divisions, there are not a whole lot of five division world champions. So that would be more history from Canelo Alvarez uh, jumping two divisions in order to do so. Uh, that would also kind of add on to that uh, prestige of Canelo Alvarez being a five division world champion. Now, with that being said, uh, I do believe that there is another reason for him going up to cruiserweight. And this is just my own thoughts and opinions. <clears throat> uh, I do believe that Canelo Alvarez is probably testing the waters at cruiserweight. No disrespect to Alunga Makabu, um, or any fighter for that matter, but Makabu is a test the waters type of opponent for somebody with the skill set and the abilities of Canelo Alvarez. Uh, Ilunga Makabu, if I remember correctly, has never beaten a world champion. He's never defeated a world champion. He is a world champion, but the title that he has, he won, he won a vacant title. Um, so he's never beaten a world champion. When he has stepped up, um, such as against Tony Bellew, you know, he was stopped early. Uh, so, Alunga Makabu, I don't believe from what I've seen of him also that he has the skill set to really give Canelo Alvarez too much trouble. And we're talking just from a skill set point of view, um, as well as, you know, an experience point of view. Like I said, he's never f fought a world champion. He's never well, let me say this. He's never defeated a world champion, not fought, because he did lose to Tony Bellew. But he's never defeated a world champion. And again, you know, the title that he has, he won a vacant title. 
Uh, so I don't see Alunga Makabu really giving Canelo Alvarez too much trouble. I do see him losing that. But when I mention that he's a test of waters type of opponent, I believe that Canelo Alvarez would use Makabu to test the waters for potentially a fight down the line with somebody like Maris Bradis, uh, who in the mind of many fans would probably be the man in the cruiserweight division. So I do believe possibly Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Reynoso may be testing the waters in order to possibly fight somebody like Maris Bradis down the line. Um, from a skill set point of view, you know, um, like I said, Makabu is, is not a prestigious opponent. Um, again, no disrespect to Makabu, but, you know, it would make history. It would make history. Now, I do believe that the opponents, uh, that there are still opponents at 168, like Jose Benavidez, Jamal Charlo, again, should he move up to 168, who skill-wise would present more resistance for someone like Canelo Alvarez and for someone with Canelo Alvarez's skill set. Um, not saying that they would win. Uh, me, personally, I don't really see anybody at 168 or 175 that would defeat Canelo Alvarez, but I do see these individuals as giving more resistance from a skill set point of view than Alunga Makabu. Even if we're talking about at 175 in the light heavyweight division, I do believe that there are more prestigious opponents and better opponents at 175 out of the three champions there that actually would present more resistance uh, to Canelo Alvarez than Alunga Makabu. I know there are many who are going to look at, hey, you know, the weight jump, the weight jump, he's moving up, skipping two divisions, and that's good. That's good. You know, I, that is impressive. Uh, I won't pretend like I'm not impressed by that, but a win over the 175 champs or wins against David Benavidez or Jamal Charlo, I actually would be more impressed with. And that's just me personally. I could be wrong. You know, hey, if you disagree, you know, let me know. But hey, fight family, these are just my thoughts. Let me know. Would you prefer to see uh, Canelo Alvarez against Ilunga Makabu at cruiserweight, or would you prefer to see Canelo Alvarez against David Benavidez or Jamal Charlo, or even the champions at 175? On that note, I believe uh, in this video, I kept calling David Benavidez Jose Benavidez for some reason. I always want to call David Jose and Jose David, even though, you know, I, I like them both. But for some reason, I keep getting their names mixed up. So if I've been calling David Benavidez Jose Benavidez, forgive me for that fight, family. Anyhow, peace. God bless. Y'all take it easy.